Hello, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Darren Allo. And today we are streaming some Hogwarts Legacy. So, previously, we got to go to Azkaban, which is pretty cool. So please check out my previous video. I've, I've never been there. I didn't even know you could go there in the game. Um, really enjoyed that. Uh, we are currently just finishing up a uh, special quest that is um, that was the Azkaban actually uh, it's linked to your house uh, so they're not all the same when you're trying to find Jackdaw Tego. oh hello um, so now we're meeting him in the Forbidden Forest and I'm going to remember how to play this game because I have been obsessed with a um, modded version of Skyrim playing through I'm playing at the moment. Uh, if you are not watching it, I highly recommend it. Well, I'm just really enjoying it and it's a lot of fun. Um, like a, a surprising amount of fun for how much, how many hours I've put into the game. Already. Uh, like quite literally thousands. Um, <laughs> it's a bit sad, but it has also been out for a long time. So that makes, that makes it a bit better. Jackdaw! See what this guy's got to say. Here I am, as good as my word. Hello, Weasley. We Same meet guy. again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, oh, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. Tego! You've been very helpful. Thank you. Stone bridge, a waterfall, and a lake. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. The bloody hell is hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Oh, I Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing I to do now French. but keep going. <laughs> I have no idea. What? No, I've been playing Skyrim trying to get the non-gravity way around. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. A thief, I stay, say. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's a nod to the movies. There it is, just as Jack Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is That's you're nice. hiding. But, uh... oh, Those loyalists will yeah, report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. 
Yep, they're all pretty much dead. Dead as a doorknob. I wonder how big this place is. Oh, this is that annoying quest where she said she's got, like, the character's just constantly like, Oh, Jackdaw was a thief, he should have gotten this chair. Beep, blue, black. That's what I was saying. It's a block. Impressive. That must be where this all leads. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Casual visitors? Protego! Damn it! It's totally my run button in uh, Skyrim. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Oh, I bloody hope so. Oh, we're gonna get me stuck, aren't we? Hey, love! Riding attire. Why is that in the game? I got. I've, I've got to check this out. Sure. Protego. Oh. Let's do this. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. That's right. Steal some stuff, you say. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I actually hate this bit where they just keep going on and on about Jackdaw. Get moonstone! Get all that moonstone! Oh hey guys! Well, Jackdaw can solve this, so can I. Incendio! 
There's a nice landing shot there. So we've got one, two. Put two back on my shoe, am I right? Build that bridge to me. Build that bridge for me. This is my third playthrough. Uh, so far I've been Slytherin, Raven, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. And if your babies will survive. Um, whack this one up onto hard difficulty. Oh, cool. Thought Jack Dor would have been interested in and this. And it's loot. um there's no sign of him. Um and it's been a while since I've played because I've been playing Skyrim loads. So I am mashing the wrong buttons left, right, and center. Accio. Excuse me. I said Accio. There was a, a few things that I found on my last playthrough that I'd never found before, which is quite cool. Um, I think I got to like... Incendio. It was like 96 or 97 Not a head of skeleton in sight. Just like it. That's so close to 100. But I'm gonna actually try and do this and make it. I'm gonna try to do this play three and actually 100% it before um Let's just get that right. Potato. No, it disappeared. Damn it. Let me open. Incendio. Accio. Let me open. Well, I failed at keeping those guys out of one, didn't I? I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh my god, she's actually in way. I think I definitely prefer playing through as a male character. Whilst he does do that as well, he doesn't stand there with his stupid hands doing weird things with them. My character stands there holding her hands, like clasping them together in front of her, and it's just irritating. And I don't know how that is irritating. <laughs> it is. It absolutely is. I'm missing out on a whole hell of a lot. It was over there where it was meant That's to go. Odd. I'd have thought Jack Dor would have been interested in this loot. But there's no sign of him. Oh, that was my fool. He's got the life knocked out of me. An untouched chest. Oh, Jack Dor wasn't Jack very Dor. thorough in his search bit, bit. of this cave. Honestly, it's infuriating. Infuriating, uh, uh. I say. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the head of this is. Jesus, he's 
sent me flying. Yeah, yeah I remember there being more. Here comes the big boys. A shame if someone missed it just. Oh! Wait, can I? Yeah, I can. Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Do I have a venomous tentacle? Ooh, Chesterini. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but I have could he be? no potions for the uh, Another five. That's hilarious. Looking back, I probably should have there. Uh, I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. And those pages. Conservative with my use of potions. <laughs> we meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Any Wigan world? Nope. <gasps> yes. We can fight them with one. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. We can do this. Is there something beyond this room? We can do this. Thought to disarm you, brutes. Winning. Oh dear. Redo the stupid thingy. Oh, that's unnerving. What's happening? Um, Grayskull. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. I'm gonna get absolutely messed up if I have to fight any more people. <laughs> He's got no. Where am I? Starting to flood? 
this bitch. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Oh, this is the map chamber. I'm going to munch down on some yogurt. Yummy. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. We've unlocked our talents. Okay. Absolutely rinsing through our <laughs> talent points. It's fine. Let's go. Potato! Double potato before I realise what bloody buttons are. Ha. I'd like to leave, please. I found the pages and the map chamber. 
Why would I need the book? We need to get the room of a requirement unlocked to fail. Oh, hello there. Jumping at the chest. I'm back at Hogwarts. Oh, I hey. wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Not doing the today, Linky. Oh, double the Dalian. Revelia. Oh, we'll, we'll try the Dedalian key. We'll just suck it out on the stream for a moment. You need to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my oh, game. It, if it ain't one, it ain't done. Rebellion. Ding. Lumos. Why is he glowing? Lumos. Incendio. I got no idea. Spoopy. I want them to add uh, werewolves in. Quite cool if you're about in the forbidden forest and like <laughs> just like werewolves are like <laughs> freaky, 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 freaky. Ah, oh, another detainee key. They are mocking me now. All right, what have I unlocked? Professor Sharp's assignment. So we need a focus potion, maxima, and a jurus potion. I need to go to flying glass. So, sounds like it's time for Hogsmeade. Before I go there, let's make sure we're wearing the... Best goddamn gear that I could ever get. Probably fits my outfit a bit better, doesn't it? An unidentified back item which I need. The room of requirement for. Alright, let's head to Hogsmeade. Shell some stuff, buy some potions. I don't know what I'm talking like that, sorry. Forgive me, please.
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. So focus. A wise decision. Thank you. There it is. Is it Maxima? I think it was Maxima, wasn't it? I think I bought the wrong bloody thing. It's okay, we'll sell all this gear. We'll get our funds back up. 60 galleons at a time. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Press a sharp refinement. Require you to use a focus potion. Is it going to come up? Maxima focus. <laughs> Maxima and the Duras potion. Pavelio. What was that? That shook like... <laughs> Maxima... Let's go to potions. And then we can learn also. What are you up to now? Let's turn that into day. Is Helen the sword okay? I'm just gonna skip this. It's just the classic montage. What did she want? Okay. Well, that's a good. How are your assignments coming along? Definitely need some wing and wealth. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. My wa my mind has wandered. What's with my hip holster? Is that where my uh, wand goes? You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should. Perhaps best <laughs> not to <laughs> in your castle the I think well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. I am staunchly determined. Oh, 
Vanishing Charmed Pulsar is a horse spell that pushes enemies and objects away from the caster. That's our last bit of dittany. You should probably do the flying. I just want to unlock the demiguy's moon quests. Oh wait, I can do one more. Oh no. Class. Class. It's going the wrong way. Bloody hell. Bloody, bloody, chuddy. I haven't spoken Ow. 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 to get anywhere quickly. <laughs> Let's go flying class. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Ready? Say it with me. Up, up. I totally did left stick instead of right stick. You can't do anything wrong in this game, just so you know. One leg over, so there's a I leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Oh, the brooms are I think school I'm property. The of this. I want them returned in one piece. I am a flying wizard. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Can I barrel roll? That's all I want to know. It's... <gasps> this next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. It's really cheeky, actually, that, um... What a view! They've made Hello. a separate Quidditch nice game day for to a flight. this, and I, I think <sighs> I don't it. think I've um, did anyone else start. see that? It's in, in my last episode. I don't remember when my last episode oh, was. The old the boat house. Out. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a person. Annoying, year. and I think that's I think that's pretty bad. Uh, I think there's a lot of outrage about it as well because that game literally looks crap. <laughs> And this game is so stunning, and they could have easily have done it for this game. And it's, Whoa. It feels Our like aquatic it's a resident more likes to make an appearance once money in a while. grabbing. <sighs> Obviously, a whole game will be more than just like an add on. Um, that 
could just be popped onto this game. With like a DLC, you could have Quidditch seasons and stuff. This is rather fun. It just feels like a bit of a cop out. Um, but if they've made this incredible game and then they've kind of just gone for the money. Despite have a moment. how much money this game has made, like stupid amount of money. It's just it's just frustrating. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Oh, yeah, sure. Can't say no to that. I got to what did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as... Let's hope the bang, headmaster bang, bang. isn't having oh, tea by the window today. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm ready to that up. Let's try that again. <laughs> I've never felt that before. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff oh, common room windows goodness. just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Hey, how take is that back. flying so quickly? Oh, is that the Hufflepuff? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now go. that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. He's really, uh... Let's hurry back. Poofing it back there. So he wants me to get into trouble. Let's see if we can go into a full oh, diving speed. Already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. And where have you two been? Up your oh, bum. hello, Professor. <laughs> we were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty would, points will be taken be from each of you for not was following my instructions. British school. <laughs> Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on the broom. Points that did be. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Alrighty. Let's see what unlocks. Where'd you get these robes from? The first time I sent her an owl from Hogwarts, she'd never seen anything like it. Hello. Oh. She's a muggle, so of course Sorry, I'm sorry. Just... I've not forgotten oh. about our library venture. How did you fare? Ah. If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. There you are. Good 
require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Party Please pippin. visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. Yes, I have an idea it. for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Let's go get the room of requirement. I hope you like that sing song. It was pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. I get weird sometimes. It is blowing a gale, as they say. Tego! Oh. How many new quests have I got? Stop prompting me. I can send Pow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pow. Why does it keep prompting me? Sorry. To the room of requirement. Do -do 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 -do. Get out of my way, Sebastian. Have you ever flown over the black lake? The bloody sprinting. scarf moves <laughs> Jay. Professor Weasley <sighs> somewhere away from prying eyes Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. It only the appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Let's Deke? follow Professor Weasley. You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Dig. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain mm -mm, objects, mm -mm. such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Y. A. X. Squiggle line.
Splendid. Now. Evanesco. Uh, Evanesco on those From chairs. From Tesco. It's on God, I miss places like te bloody Tesco. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's this move is on. Cool. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that That's, uh, one of the poor goodness? Poor my old schoolbag. Just I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Dear. Give you an opportunity you to down? explore on Someone your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. See if we can jump it from here. What? Nope. Why am I so rubbish at this? I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Ba -ba -ba. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Ooh. What was that? Was that a golden switch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Let me also. Expelliarmus. I can't. Jesus. Excuse me, do you mind? I know what Stupid thing. Just spinning around. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Don't go into the light. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. 
It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to quite seeing what you do with the space. With. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Start getting rid of crap I don't need immediately. Gone with you. I actually want to make. I imagine most the desk of, the, uh, of description will come in handy. Change, it it will. Pretty good. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring. Conjuring. Got it. Deeper, do but dare better. Smarmy little face. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the... Don't care, I know where to get Moonstone. Blah blah, blue blah blee. Right, what have I got to do? Conjure a pattern table. Change the color of that. It's better in black. And hobology. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. 
I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Hmm. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing I've items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside ooh, of the ooh, Hogwarts ooh, I got grounds. That. I got it. I got Return it. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can come... I'm just going to skip this. Otherwise it takes too long. All decorations and... I'll call this the, uh, all of the selfless needs. So that's three. Do paintings count? little niffler Rugs everywhere. Utilities don't have. Oh. Looks like everywhere's getting a rug. <laughs> you get a rug. And you get a rug. And you get a rug. And you get a rug. Good work. Shall we move on? I've what? conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, pattern. Tutorial. Change the style of an item. How am I 
I doing this invisible? Just the size of an item. One of my rugs would be really useful right about now, eh? Nicely done. Teeny now, tiny you're rug. ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. <laughs> Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley said I Give should ask ambience. you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. I feel like nothing's changed at all. Could this be me? Hmm. Quite. Be blah blue blah blah. Skip. An even. Good. Right now we've gone through that tutorial. Is this grown yet? Not there. Nothing, nothing hanging from the walls. And we've unlocked a whole bunch of stuff for the uh, room, room of requirement. We uh, might do like a design one. Quite fun. Oh my god. nothing but shite. Floor yellow. It's still yellow. Okay. 
Who makes it red? That's ghastly. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. These Pokemon's a bit more entertaining. Pyrrhus. Oh, wizard. Right, we're nearly as bare as bare bones can be. Bear with me. Riveting stuff, right. How did I miss a wall? Oh, that was hopeful thinking. Okay. Now we're there. Great job. Okay. So that is the room of requirement. We will be getting that as a uh, teed up as we can. Revelio. Troll ballerinas. What quests have we got? <sighs> Defindo. So we can actually use the invisibility potion in part of the quest the delivery so that's kind of okay we don't actually have to buy anything so i guess we do the delivery which i hate anyway that is where i'm gonna end today's video uh if you liked it please uh like subscribe check out my other videos um definitely check out my skyrim videos but if you like hogwarts legacy i do have some run throughs uh, which have all been pretty fun in their own way. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care.